Welcome on our road to 2500. Well, today we have a special guest and we play against Taken. And yeah, he's a, a Twitch streamer, I believe. And the clock started as well. And this game will also be recorded for a series. And super cool. So let's see what he brings to the table today. And I like it already. We have here a nice center structure. And he go for goes for e6, probably here for the Nimzu Indian. And we like this f3 variation. I like it. Very nice. And hopefully we'll get a nice attacking game going. He castles right away. Let's go. I think let's go for this setup. And if he takes the knight, I will take back, of course, with the pawn and hopefully get a very nice center going. Let's see what he has in store here for us. Probably a move like d5 is a very solid and good move to make. Let's see what he's up to. He's taking some time. It's 10 minutes, 10 minutes without increment, of course. So let's see. I'm already up on time here, so that's good. He goes for this approach, but that allows me to get the center completely. And yeah, when you can, then we will, of course. Interesting. So he goes for this setup. I think we should just simply take, and then we can already start pushing pawns. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go here next. Get some development in and yeah, let's finish this game early, I would say. Um, the question is if we push the pawn already. I think so. So here, back here. Maybe there's some check here though. I want to be mindful of. But I think this is for sure the best move to make in this position. Um, yeah, let's go for it. And then I think bishop here. And yes, he has a check, but I can counter it this way. And yeah, have a good position. Maybe even bishop g5 would have been the better alternative first. But let's see. Okay. I think bishop d3, check, g3 is like the way forward. I could also first get my knight out here. Maybe that's preferred. Let's do it. And at the same time, he's a bit cramped, huh? But knight here, then he might go bishop to a6. Uh, I could also develop here and have to check. Get my knight in between. Could also first develop my bishop. There's a lot of interesting options here, actually. Here. Check. Here. Um, yeah, let's see what to do. Uh, four maybe. Let's just go for this. Probably you play queen to a uh, to h four. Then I'll go here. And probably queen h5. Mm. And then let's see how I develop further. But okay. Could also just be by going here. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. I'm behind on time. There he goes there. Okay, let's just develop. Trade bishops. And the game goes on. But I have my f4, f5 push. 
which is interesting, of course. And I have a very nice center, and because of the d5 pawn, he has some difficulties with really putting pressure on d4. So, okay, let's castle and push some pawns over here. He might want to go here and here. Or here but I think that if the knight lands on c4 yeah then it's the question you know how much it actually does it goes there hmm, interesting I thought that he always should want to have some queen h4 move in the position what about this and this and I could pack up, takes, takes, and I think a four here is the right move. And a four, and probably, probably he will go a five then. So maybe I should play my knight here first, mm, but then still a five. I think this is the right move because f5 then this move and if he goes here then the pawn is not protected enough okay he goes there now i think i should push if he goes here but then i will simply draw back if it takes then we'll just develop maybe bishop here the rook maybe goes there and of course i want to go f5 it's a nice attacking position over here. Let's pre-move in case he takes. Time-wise, we're quite equal at this position. At this point in time. Also, rating-wise, we're quite equal. Um, I think I have a small plus here, as often with white, but you know, in these kind of structures, the computer likes to have a big center, which I have. And yeah, a five, especially is a nice well, i'm not sure if it's a threat but i get a lot of activity and yeah a five maybe bishop g5 a lot of options and it's not so easy for him to to play this probably we'll go here then maybe probably i will go here the queen ends up here could go here and of course i need to time f5 in the right moment So let's say rook c8. What about f5? Because he would like to get a queen here, right? But what about this move then? Knight here. Takes. It's already getting iffy for him, huh? Yeah, but then I thought I had this move. Maybe he does want to go back. Maybe he does want to go back. Probably the computer is like just, you know, lock it up and play the position. Probably. Probably. So this and here. And then I think it will be hard to ever, you know, keep this pawn. I think I should get my piece into play. Maybe this is the right approach to it. Or this, one of the two. Let's go here. And I have pressure here. He goes for that. And I think this is the right move to make. This already looks very good for me, I must say. Now it's a matter of bringing the rooks into the game. This pawn is weak. His knights are biting on granite. Nice way to put it. Even this move, it's an option. 
I go here, and this pawn gets very weak then. And I always have a4, right? Remember that. So I think this is the right move to make. And I, like I said, I always have a4 here. This knight needs to go to a bench guard. Okay, he wants to go here, of course. What about this move? Uh, what about this move? It looks interesting. I think this is a interesting move. Because of this, then I have this move. Queen could go here, though. But then I can retreat this. If it goes, hmm, and if it goes here, then I bring this rook in to attack this pawn. Just defend it twice. Question is, how happy is my bishop at that point in time? I'm not sure. Could also take the knight. And by the way, there's also this tactic always looming. Let's go ahead. If he goes here, then we just drop back, right? And maybe this move at some point. Hide behind everything. Ooh, looks interesting. Let's go. Um, what about this move? Okay, three minutes. Okay, he goes there. Let's retreat. Thought he should have gone here. And this knight wants to go here. This rook wants to go here. Uh, this looks completely winning to me. This rook can go here to block all ideas on targeting the a4 pawn this already attacks this pawn queen behind it i can reroute my knight if i want looks very good time is equal okay it goes there This takes, and uh, then, yeah, then his rook is stuck. So that doesn't work. And after this move, this might already be, yeah, I can take right away, right? Attacking the rook as well. This looks like a winning position for me. Time-wise, we're equal, so that's good. Unless I'm overlooking uh, looking a tactic. It's important that I'm not walking into any pins. Um, let's go here, that's a... Takes... Even takes works this is check 
queen here. Okay, it goes there. Okay, it goes for the counterattack. I think I should go here now. What about this move? I'll just bring the knight back, of course. So knight wasn't doing anything at this point. Let's go here. The rook can always go here as well. And I want to put some more pressure on this pawn. And the bishop will go back as well. That's an interesting option. He wants to go here, of course. But what if I simply go here? Could also take it. So opening up the diagonal, okay. Threatening check. Threatening to move the pawn. Two. I think now I just should start moving. This pawn goes forward. What about this? I can always go here. It goes there. Go for a check. Okay, one minute forty three. Um, let's go. Let's go here. Take yeah, this uh what about here? Threatening checkmate and one. Okay, let's just move. Okay. Okay, that's it.
Yes! Got him! Got him! <laughs> well, very nice game. Very nice game. I should have finished it earlier. But nice that we managed to convert. Strong, strong prayer. Good win. And yeah, it was a lot of fun, guys. All right. And let's check out the game analysis. 63% accuracy. Like a 1600. That is funny. That is funny. Well, it was because of in the end, we I had to make a lot of very fast move. And he was fast as well. So it was very interesting. F3, I like the setup already here. I have a very nice center. The computer approves completely. So that's great. And here the move d5. Yeah, I just get the center and I push. Great position already. Bishop to d3. I was thinking about this move. And then g3 and then maybe queen over here. But then simply king f2. Not sure if I saw that move, but for sure looks nice. And then probably just develop and after takes, takes. Look at this position. Beautiful. Okay, not what happened. Instead, he went straight away for the bishop trade. Sure, we take it. Castles, not the right move. The computer preferred to go f4 first. But what if a check? Then just on knight g3 and castle later. Okay. Castles may be premature, but I th still think it's nice. First, make sure your king is to safety before you start attacking. Stick to the plan, guys. Stick to the principles. F4, question mark. Maybe a4, the better option. I think f4 is just a nice move. Going for the attack. Here f5, very strong move by black. I like it. Because otherwise, well, you can't allow white to play f5. That would give away too much space, so good option. But now this side of the board is closed. So instead, now we start aiming at the other side of the board. Bishop to b4. And already my position is awesome over here. And I try now to, you know, I've looked for the weaknesses in my opponent's camp. I saw these two. So now I just try to put all pieces to those squares where I can attack all these weaknesses of my opponent. Here I think knight to e2, strong move, because the opponent wants to go here. And knight e2 does two things, protecting the rook from going here. And secondly, also make sure that my knight is active. Like I said, it wasn't doing much here on this square, looking at pawns, and now it's being beautiful and helpful as well. Going back, rook here, attacking this pawn, queen goes after it, let's just reinforce the attack. And here probably I should have kept the queens on the board d5 strong move probably game over straight away takes uh, and this position would have been better but i was low on time and then i went for the queen trade uh, which is also fine plus 3.6 according to the computer so that's just an amazing position for me but yeah i made it a bit difficult for myself in the end my opponent gets a bit passive and i think here i should have just taken the pawn also right don't not really understand why i didn't take the pawn Plus eight. I think I just forgot about it. I think I wanted to go for something beautiful. And here already the knight has to come in between. And then e6. And yeah, there's nothing for my opponent basically. Instead, I went for the beautiful approach, which by the way is also a fine move, but not as good. And now just promote. But for some reason, my opponent did have some options still. As I'm not really material upright, just well, a pawn and a big pawn but okay um in this position just giving the check and i'm probably uh, and i'm taking here oh that's a nice option with a checkmate well i didn't see that with just seconds on the clock so well instead probably i should have gone here by the way but okay instead i went here and attacking the knight he gives up the knight probably just a mouse slip but this is a question mark. What would have been better is to give a check. Yeah, I had this check option already multiple times, right? Maybe even taking. But then there's a check. Okay, wait, this doesn't work. It does work, actually. Okay, you need to give up everything. Ah, uh, yeah, this would have been very, very clean. I can promote. Because this is a checkmate. And, by the way, the king cannot come up, right? Should have spent... Three seconds out of this time to look at the checkmate. But yeah, still, this is a checkmate. And here, with eight seconds on the clock, seven. It was just sort of a matter of, yeah, this is a mouse slip. I wanted to go here. But <laughs> yeah, this would have been game over right away, of course. Uh, still, it's all about time. So here I just started to give away pieces just to make sure 
that I win on time and that was all what I was aiming for and in the end I managed to do it and he couldn't convert here and yeah maybe probably if he would have would have made the move then probably I would have been too late but I won nice win and guys don't forget to like and subscribe see you bye bye